Over the last million years, our planet suffered a series of major ice ages. Much of the Northern Hemisphere was covered in ice sheets several kilometers thick. Creatures had no choice but to adapt or die. Eventually, temperatures rose, causing glaciers to retreat. But in many parts of Europe, the Ice Age never left. For many, the struggle to survive a life below zero continues. Situated in the Northern Hemisphere, Europe makes up just under 7% of the world's landmass. Although in many regions, summer temperatures can exceed 40 degrees Celsius, in winter, mercury levels often drop 40 below. Surprisingly, 98% of our planet's snow cover is located in the northern half of our globe. And one creature in particular depends on Europe's icy climate for survival. Polar bears are the world's largest land predators. Unchanged for over 300,000 years, they patrol Europe's northernmost shores. Like the rest of the population, this individual has spent the warmer summer months scavenging. Less lucky bears have had no choice but to fast, losing up to a third of their body weight. Change is on the horizon. October welcomes winter, and the sea slowly starts to freeze. This bear can sense its annual feast is about to begin. While winter transforms the landscape at sea level, at higher climes, the cooler temperatures yield a fresh layer of snow. The Alps are the highest and longest mountain range in Europe. Spanning eight countries, they stretch out 1,200 kilometers. More than 80 peaks along their length tower over 4,000 meters high. Few creatures can endure this hostile, precipitous environment. But one species, 
with nerves of steel, appears completely at home. Like all mountain goats, alpine ibex have feet specially adapted for a life on the edge. Their hooves have concave undersides, which act like suction cups, gluing them to the almost vertical cliffs. Ibex are strictly vegetarian. Grasses, mosses and flowers make up the majority of their diets. To cope with the shortage of food during winter months, they lower their heart and metabolic rate in order to conserve energy. For one half of the herd, this survival strategy is doubly important. Males looking to sire next year's offspring need every ounce of strength they can muster. Using his acute sense of smell, this individual assesses a female's breeding status. Other males have also got wind of the potential mate. These meter long curved horns aren't just for show. They're used to sort out the men from the boys. season, or rut, this clashing of heads is how breeding rights are decided. The strongest males have been known to mate with up to 10 females in a single season. Eventually, the loser realizes he's no match for the resident king of the mountain. The victor may have won this particular battle, but several other challengers outside the ring await their turn. He'll have to watch his back for the next few weeks. Remnants of the most recent ice age can also be found along Britain's higher climbs. Lying in the eastern highlands of Scotland, the Cairngorms are the UK's highest and most massive mountain range. With peaks topping just over 1,300 metres, this elevated plateau mirrors the alpine habitat and climate found much further north, deep within the Arctic Circle. While it was long thought Britain's last glaciers melted away almost 12,000 years ago, recent research has revealed the slow-moving masses of ice and snow survived here until just 300 years ago. 
the UK's lowest ever temperature was also recorded here, a staggering minus 27 degrees Celsius. Despite the hostile conditions, the Cairngorms provide a home to certain creatures all year round. Even though their natural predators, such as wolves and lynx, are long extinct here, red deer still adopt a safety in numbers way of life. Standing almost two meters tall, Britain's largest land mammals have very little to fear. The harsh winter climate remains the greatest single threat. Smaller mammals, however, still need to keep their wits about them. Mountain hares have adapted to survive in this harsh terrain. They even alter their appearance to blend in with the changing habitat. Throughout spring and summer, their fur is a blend of brown and gray. But as winter draws in, their coats revert to all white, making them almost invisible, to the human eye at least. The hare's camouflage may fool those of average vision, but there's one Highland hunter that rarely misses a trick. Golden eagles have eyes roughly the same size as humans, except their vision is up to eight times sharper. Each of their eyes has two centers of focus, enabling them to see forwards and sideways at the same time. And whereas people recognize three main colors, golden eagles see five. Throw in a super sharp sense of smell, it soon becomes clear the golden eagle is possibly the world's greatest aerial hunter. A two-meter wingspan provides effortless lift. With few shrubs or trees offering cover, the Cairngorms provide this predator with the perfect hunting ground. From up here, golden eagles can spot a potential meal more than a kilometer away. This mountain hare is completely unaware it's been spotted. partially closes its wings as it enters into a low-angled glide. Speed increasing as it homes in on the target. But the eagle hadn't banged on others giving the game away. A flock of grouse alerts the potential victim to take flight. Hitting a top speed of 70 kilometers an hour, mountain hares easily outpace the majority of land predators. But along 
with peregrine falcons, golden eagles are the fastest creatures on the planet. With a stoop dive speed of up to 250 kilometers an hour. The hare stood little chance of escape. Razor sharp talons ensure the victim is killed almost instantly. Further north, in the desert-like tundra of Norway, legacies of the last ice age live on. These barren lands are still rebounding from the enormous weight of the ice sheets that melted long ago. They continue to rise several millimeters every year. The grounds still remain frozen for most of the year, making it impossible for trees to take root. Winter temperatures can drop below minus 30, and icy winds often blow up to 100 kilometers an hour. While saber-toothed tigers and mammoths that once roamed these plains have long died out, one Ice Age relic is still very much alive. Muskox are possibly the hardiest creatures on the planet. Their blizzard-proof, shaggy outer coats insulate a much shorter, finer layer beneath. Along with the yaks of Central Asia, they have the longest fur of any animal, up to a meter in length. Aside from their lips and nostrils, their entire bodies are covered by hair. Despite their massive bison-like size and appearance, muskox are more closely related to goats and sheep. Leading a nomadic lifestyle, they continually wander the tundra in search of food, covering around two kilometers each day. During winter, grasses are scarce. So they rely on thick layers of fat accumulated during the slightly milder, yet very short summer. Slow movement and frequent periods of rest conserve energy.
sharing body heat is essential when faced with the harshest blizzards. But not everyone can afford to sit out the winter. In preparation for the next breeding season, males need to keep on their toes. Play fighting is a serious business. A dominant male can earn the right to mate with up to six or more females in his 20-strong herd. The day draws to a close. Resembling boulders, their massive forms lie scattered across the tundra's lunar-like landscape. Across the Arctic region, the night skies are staged to a spectacle that's completely out of this world. also known as the Northern Lights, is possibly nature's most mesmerizing phenomenon. This colorful array of dancing lights is caused by gas particles from the sun colliding with those beneath the Earth's magnetic atmosphere. Elsewhere, the sun's gases are deflected by our planet's magnetic field. But at the northern and southern poles, these fields are weaker, enabling the particles to break through. The performance can extend more than 400 kilometers above the Earth's surface. on the darkest of nights, this natural extravaganza occurs 24 hours a day, all year round. At the northernmost tip of Europe sits a group of islands deep within the Arctic Circle. Svalbard, lies just 1,000 kilometers from the North Pole. Here, winter temperatures can drop below minus 40 degrees. Cold enough to freeze the surrounding seas to more than a meter deep. Ringed seals welcome this transformation of their underwater world. Seal pups need to spend the first few weeks of their lives on dry land until their fur is fully waterproof. They remain close to the breathing holes excavated by their mothers and with good reason.
ringed seals are the main prey of our planet's largest land predator. Polar bears have an incredibly acute sense of smell. They can home in on a seal from more than a kilometer away. Stealth is this hunter's key to survival. On land, the ringed seal's vision is poor. The predator blends into the white backdrop. It approaches upwind, minimizing the chances of being heard or smelled. Hunting mission fails. Polar bears can stand up to three meters tall and weigh more than 600 kilos, as much as seven grown men. Catching seals at this time of year is just a numbers game. This giant soon gets wind of another potential feast. Despite the sub-zero climate, the polar bear's body temperature and metabolic rate remains constant. A 10 centimeter layer of insulating fat beneath a twin-lined coat of hollow fiber fur prevents almost any heat loss. Moving too fast for too long would cause them to overheat. So they often have no choice but to amble along. The next potential victim is close. Many seals give birth in lairs beneath drifting snow. This youngster has no idea its world could come crashing down at any moment. manages to slip away. Just one in 50 hunts are successful. But this bear hasn't given up yet. Finally, success. Polar bears can eat more than 45 kilos of seal blubber in a single sitting. Spring provides an abundant yet short feeding opportunity. In just a 12 week window, bears consume around two thirds of their annual energy needs.
for some island mammals, the arrival of spring offers little relief to their famine. At just 80 centimeters tall, Svalbard reindeer are the smallest of all reindeer species. Over the past 5,000 years, they have adapted to the island's harsh Arctic climate. Over 25% of their body mass is made up of energy-rich fat, five times more than their mainland cousins. Stored during the summer months, this fuel reserve is released throughout the long, cold winter. Despite the stockpile, the reindeer still need to feed. But the spring thaw and refreezing cycle create surface layers of rock hard ice. Digging down to the frozen plants as they did throughout winter eventually becomes impossible. It will be at least another month until their grazing grounds completely thaw. Until then, exposed mosses on rocks provide little relief from hunger. For some, the wait for warmer weather may prove to be too much. Starvation, not predation, is the most common cause of death. One creature's loss, however, is another's gain. Arctic foxes are about the same size as domestic cats. Like polar bears, they also rely on a thick winter coat and layer of fat to cope with the island's inhospitable climate. Because all the migratory birds leave Svalbard in October, winter offers few hunting opportunities. Fallen reindeer provide a much welcome meal. However, this solitary scavenger has company. Arctic foxes have been known to chase competitors away at high speed for more than a kilometer. For the loser, not all is lost. Like all foxes, he was born with a hoarding instinct. He resumes unearthing morsels cached away during summer and autumn. Back on the mainland, south of the tundra's frozen plains, cold tolerant trees have taken root. Known as the tiger, this band of predominantly coniferous forest covers most of Finland, Sweden, and much of Norway. Mm -hmm. 
Although summers here are longer and relatively warm, like the tundra plains, winters are bitterly cold, dropping to minus 40 degrees. For six months of the year, temperatures remain below zero. Certain broadleaf deciduous trees, such as birch, have adapted to the taiga's extreme climate. Their limbs are extremely flexible, so avoid breaking under the heavy strain of ice and snow. The reindeer here are slimmer and taller than their island-dwelling cousins. They don't need to stockpile masses of fat due to the vast amounts of lichen growing on trees, their staple winter food. Compared to many other mammals, their sight and hearing aren't that well developed. So a sharp sense of smell is relied upon to find food and recognize the odor of danger. Although starvation poses little threat, other forest dwellers do. Grey wolves are one of the most adaptable creatures on the planet. Humans aside, they once had the largest distribution of any mammal. Living and hunting in packs of up to 15, they travel up to 20 kilometers a day in search of food. Grey wolves are fairly fast runners, but even with an average speed of 40 kilometers an hour, they're unable to outpace the forest deer. They instead rely on endurance, sometimes even tracking their victims all day and night. But following heavy snowfall, the wolves are gifted a particular advantage. Roe deer live a mainly solitary life, so don't benefit from safety in numbers. Narrow pointed hooves may support speed and agility on firm land, but in deep snow, they prove next to useless. Wolves have excellent peripheral vision and can detect the slightest motion. The struggling deer is spotted and the predators spring into action. snowshoe-like webbed feet enable them to close in on the victim with ease. Wolves need roughly three to five kilos of meat each day but are able to fast for up to two weeks whenever food is scarce. <coughs> a 
A strict hierarchy governs mealtimes, as well as breeding rights. Dominant individuals have first choice to eat as much as they want, regardless of who made the kill. Eventually, everyone gets their fair share. While the world's largest wild species of dog enjoys the spoils of a successful hunt, Europe's biggest wild feline can only watch. Not only the most northerly living species of cat on the planet, they're also one of the most widely distributed. Of the four recognized species living worldwide, the Eurasian lynx is the largest. It can weigh up to 36 kilos and have a body length of almost a meter and a half. Thick fur and broad padded feet enable it to thrive in this frigid, deep snow environment. Being the largest of its kind, the Eurasian lynx is more than capable of bringing down large prey. Deer make up a major portion of its diet. But this solitary hunter is no match for a single wolf, let alone an entire pack. Fortunately, lynx don't just rely on brute strength to acquire a meal. Their long tufted ears are capable of tuning in to the slightest sound. Sharp eyesight means they can spot smaller mammals up to 75 meters away. Rodents breaking cover from beneath the snow take a massive risk. Lynx aren't particularly fast runners. And unlike their dog-like competitors, they also lack stamina. To acquire a meal, they adopt a more cryptic hunting method. This individual slowly stalks its target. Conserving energy until within striking range.
the ambush pays off. As summer fast approaches, the snow-covered forests begin to thaw. With up to 30 different species of prey on their menu, Eurasian lynx rarely go hungry, whatever the season. Back on the tundra plains, however, the warmer season spells an end to one predator's annual banquet. The sea ice surrounding Svalbard is breaking up. Seal mothers lead their new pups to the safety of open water. At arm's length, from polar bear paws and jaws. With their three months of feasting over, the bears have no choice but to return to dry land. Getting there is a lot easier than it looks. Polar bears are excellent swimmers. They have been known to cover distances of over 350 kilometers. Marathon swims can last almost 10 days. It could be several months before this individual gets to eat again. Until then, it has little choice but to sit out the late summer and early autumn sun. Europe is home to secret lands of ice and snow. From icy mountainous peaks to frozen seas below. Many creatures have adapted to an Arctic way of life. Relics of a forgotten ice age thrive in this sometimes unforgiving world of white.
winter landscapes force change, adding pressure to stay alive. And in a life below zero, only the hardiest survive. <laughs>